Welcome back. We're going to be looking at uh, trigonometric identity today, and this one will be the fundamental Pythagorean trigonometric identity. Uh, that's a mouthful. In Swedish, it's a lot easier, actually. We just call it the trigonometriska etan. So we'll, we'll take the Swedish version in this case. It's a, a little bit long-winded in English. All right. Back to the unit circle. And we'll take a quick review of what the sine and cosine mean in the unit circle here. And just go back real quick here. Remember that the x position will come from the cosine. That's why that's there. And the y position comes from the sine of the angle there. All right. Once we know that, we're able to do some fun manipulations that come in quite handy later on. Uh, this Pythagorean identity is quite useful, uh, and sometimes you will need it to solve equations that would be rather troublesome without it. So what we're going to do is take this triangle right here and put it out here just so we can have uh, less clutter around us. And we're going to remember that back in the early days of math, when you, you learned this identity here, you would say, okay, the x squared plus the y squared together have to be equal to whatever the hypotenuse is squared. And in the case of the unit circle, it's a real nice triangle because we just have one right there. And we'll end up with one when we're done. But what we're going to do now is replace these with the versions over here so that we can get a new kind of identity. So let's do that. There, we've got them replaced there. And since it's x is cosine squared, then x squared is cosine squared. Okay, So that's, that's why we're doing that. And once we have that, you can see, uh, yeah, the sine squared and the cosine squared together, those lengths have to be equal to 1 because we already know that about triangles. We know that whatever this length is squared plus that length squared, it will be the hypotenuse squared, which in this case is just 1. So it, it, it's really a, a clever little thing they, they figured out uh, hundreds of years ago that we're going to be using now to help us solve some other nice little equations. So when we clean it all up and we have our identity, this is the way it will usually show up in the formula books. Sometimes they'll have the 1 on this side. Don't worry about that. It doesn't matter just depends on the textbook you're using. Uh, so, all right, I, I hope that helps you, and hopefully you'll be able to solve some of the problems that use this particular identity. See you next time.